everyone. Welcome to Girls for STEM. Remember, we're here to encourage girls to pursue STEM. What is STEM one more time? STEM is an acronym for the field of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Today, we're going to focus on one component of STEM, engineering. And we're also going to learn how mothers can encourage girls to pursue engineering. Before we dive into that, let's understand what engineers do. What do engineers do? Engineers use science and mathematics to solve problems. They make our lives better. They are the game changers. They innovate. They also do research of unknowns. How many types of engineering fields are there? There are so many types of engineering fields. Manufacturing engineering, quality engineering, chemical engineering, software engineering, aviation engineering. They are so many and they go on and on. Do mothers have to be engineers to share STEM to their kids? Not at all. Mothers, guardians, you don't have to be engineers to share STEM to your kids. Kids are so curious. Engineering curiosity starts from somewhere. And mother, you see them do this all the time. Pushing the Barbie doll on a pram. Throwing the ball in the air. Drawing beautiful sketches. Sometimes pushing the tire down the ramp. That is a trigger to pause a discussion with them. Sometimes they do ask questions. What is it? Can I touch it? How does it sound? Can I eat it? Those are some of the questions that they do ask. Engage your children. Help them navigate this world with possibilities. According to STEM statistics, they say that mothers who communicated STEM to their kids, their kids ended up being either engineers, scientists, or any of these STEM careers. So it is very important to engage the kids at a very young age by the guardians or mothers. Thank you so much and continue watching and enjoy. Hi, Laika again. This is Kirsten. Um, I really enjoyed talking to you last time. So again, I want you to introduce yourself. What's your name? Laika January, I've come again to talk. Yes, that's really nice. Thank you so much for coming on my Girls for STEM. So um, I have a few questions I, I would like to ask you. So last time you watched a lot about what engineers do so tell me what do you what do engineers do what do you think what do engineers do engineers make cars uh-huh and they fix cars okay and uh, do engineer things like making a robot oh that's really nice okay i have another question why is it important for an engineer to test things that they create? Why do they have to test the stuff? To make you good and to make you work hard. But why do they have to test the robots that they make before they give someone or before they sell it? Why do they have to test the car first? Because they should not break. Brilliant, brilliant, Malaika. Next question. Why is it important for engineers to have a good imagination? Pay attention, pay attention. Why, do you, why, why is it important for engineers to have good imagination? To make them feel good and brave. <laughs> you are so smart. Next question, Malaika. What are some steps that engineers go through when solving a problem? They use science to solve a problem. They use what? Science. 
science. Okay, what before they start using science, what do they go through? What do they do before they start working on any problem? What do you think? They get things. Uh-huh. And they get robot pieces. Uh-huh. Arms. Uh-huh. A body. Yes. Brilliant. You are very right. You are very right. They plan. They plan and they take all the components and then they make them. You are doing really good. The next question, Malaika. What are some of the examples of problems, different types of engineers that they solve? They solve... They solve engineer problems, like, which are very complicated. Which are what? Like when a robot breaks, see, uh -huh. then they will wait to fix it. Okay. They will fix it. Okay, I can't hear you. What happens when the robot breaks? What? They plan to fix it. Okay. To make it good and strong. That's really smart. Okay, one last question, Malaika. Why don't engineers get upset when something fails? Because they didn't make it nice and it looks bad. So why don't they get upset? Because of that thing is bad and it smells. <laughs> That's really smart of you. So thank you so much, Malaika. I, I really challenge you to the limit and I'm very happy that you answer most of the questions. So what else do you want us to talk about today? Aeroplanes. That's great. Why, what, do you, what do you want us to talk about aeroplanes? That they can fly very nicely with oil. Uh-huh. I tell what oil is. Uh huh. Tell me. O oil is fuel. It's fuel. Okay. Mm hmm. Fuel. Okay. And what does the fuel do? The fuel makes things to go smoothly. Okay. And what else? And they go straightly and not bumpy. Okay, so now Malaika, what grade are you doing? Grade you, one. You seem to know all these things. How did you know all these things about engineering? I, and, huh? I learn. How do you learn? I get some paper and, and write. And what? And do some engineering things, read the things. You are right, and that's really good. Okay, so you, how old are you? You are six years old. Okay, and you're in what grade? Grade one. Okay, that's really nice. No, that was really nice talking to you. 